Hello and welcome to your first beginner's scripting tutorial. Uh, this is the first video in a series that I'm going to do where I'll teach you all the way from the beginner level of scripting to the advanced level of scripting. Uh, so hopefully by the end of this series, you'll have a, a strong grasp of what scripting is and how to script. So to start, uh, you're going to want to open an empty base plate. Um, and you're going to want to come up to this top tab here. You're going to click view and this view tab is basically the place where you can open up all your windows in studio. So you're going to want to open the explore and properties window. These are these two windows over here. You want to open uh, output script analysis and command bar. Um, so your, your windows may be in a different location than mine. Uh, you can just drag them around, put them where you want. I like to have my Explorer and Properties tab over here and everything else on the left and on the bottom. So you'll see that in your Explorer tab, you have a bunch of different icons. Uh, you're going to want to go to Workspace. So Workspace is what's going on in the game. It's all of this in here. It's in the world. So under uh, workspace is spawn location and base plate. So it's spawn locations right here. And you'll see when I select spawn location, all of these properties show up under the properties tab. So properties are the appearance and look of something in your game. Uh, so if I go under the properties tab of spawn location, you can see I can change the, the color. So if I want to make it red, I can do that. I can change the material. So I can change it to pebble. Uh, you can change the transparency. So I can transparency, transparency is from zero to one. So 0.5 would be, uh, you can see it halfway and then one would be completely transparent. And then zero would just be solid. So I can change that to 0.5 and make it a little bit transparent. So a little bit of terminology is the spawn location is the child of workspace. And workspace is the parent of spawn location. So you can see if I can move spawn location into lighting if I wanted, for example. So now lighting is the parent of spawn location. So those terms are used in scripting a lot. Uh, those are two very important terms that you'll want to remember. Uh, so now I'm going to come on, come over to server script, server script service, and I'll insert a script into it. So to do that, I'll just hover over it and click this little plus. Make sure it's a script that you're inserting. So you can look up script. There are three different types of scripts. We'll get into these in later videos, but for now we'll only be focusing on scripts. So insert a script into there and you can just delete this line. So let's say that I wanted to change a property of spawn location inside of a script. So how would I do that? Well, I'd first do game dot workspace dot spawn location because spawn location is under workspace and I'll change the transparency. So I can say transparency equals one. So what's going on here? Well, game is anything under the Explorer tab. So let's say I wanted to reference server script service. Well, I do game dot server script service and you can see it auto fills there and so this would be referencing server script service but i don't want to do that right now so i do game dot workspace dot spawn location and then transparency is a property under spawn location and i'm setting it to one note that uh these are case sensitive so if i uh, if I had this as a lowercase t, 
this wouldn't work. This is error. So make sure you keep that in mind that this is case sensitive. So I'm setting the transparency to one. So let's play the game, see what happens. And you can see that the spawn location actually turns invisible because if you remember, uh, transparency is a number from zero to one, one meaning completely transparent. So there are a bunch of different properties under this spawn location. Uh, so for example, one is anchored. So you can look it up here. It's what I typically do. So you can see that this part this uh, spawn location is anchored, which means it won't have gravity, it won't have any physics attached to it. So if I bring this up, and I click play, you can see that well, it's invisible because we changed it in the script, but you can see that it floats. So transparency is a int value. So an int value is like a whole number. So one, two, three, four, five, all of these are whole values. And anchored, the anchored property is what's known as a Boolean value. A Boolean value is just true or false, simple. So let's say I wanted to change anchored. So I do game that workspace that spawn location that anchored is equal to false. So this would, uh, I can just run this, 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 uh, this doesn't spawn my character in it just runs the game. So you can see if I run it, the part falls because it's it gets set to, the anchored property gets set to false. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, you've learned four new topics in this tutorial, which is referencing hierarchy uh, properties, and you learned two two data types, which were int values, which are whole numbers, if you remember, and Boolean values, which is true or false. Uh, and referencing is referencing an object within the game. So spawn location, properties, properties under this spawn location. And the hierarchy is that parent child, those parent child terms you learned earlier. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.